Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about single phase AC series motor. Generally, in AC machines, there is no like a division, like a series and shunt. Generally, in DC machine, we have a series motor and shunt motor. But in AC machines, there is no like a difference uh, series shunt like that. But here he said that the single phase AC series motor. Actually, this is not a AC motor. This is a DC series motor. Why it is called a single phase AC series motor? If the DC series motor, if the DC series motor given by single phase AC supply, that machine is called as single phase AC series motor. If a DC series motor given by single phase AC supply, that motor is called as single phase AC series motor. Generally, it is a DC motor, sir. But you are giving single phase AC supply. Is there any difficulties? Yes, is there are many difficulties. What are the difficulties? The first one, the first difficulty, when single phase AC supply given to the DC series motor, the hysteresis and ED current losses increases and efficiency decreases. This is first one. Hysteresis and ED current losses increases, efficiency decreases. And second one, the commutation, sparking commutation will take place. Sparking commutation, sparking commutation will take place. Second difficulty. And third one, and third one, the power factor decreases. Power factor decreases. These are the three difficulties when single phase AC supply given to a DC series motor. The first one, hysteresis and ED current losses increases, efficiency decreases, and sparking commutation will take place. And next one, power factor reduces. Right? Okay. How we can avoid? What are the remedies for these three difficulties? What are the remedies? The first one, by laminating whole parts of the machine, by laminating, by laminating whole parts of the machine, whole parts of the machine, we can reduce hysteresis and anti current losses, and we can improve the efficiency, and also frequency should be reduced up to 25 hedges or 16 2 by 3 hedges. What are the first remedy? By using laminating place. Nothing but by laminating whole parts of the machine and by reducing frequency up to 25 hedges or 16 2 by 3 hedges, we can reduce hysteresis and eddy current losses and we can increase the efficiency is the first remedy. And what is the remedy for this? Sparking computation. By using strong magnetic field, by using strong magnetic field, strong magnetic field, by using strong magnetic field, we can improve the commutation. Sir, how you can use the strong magnetic field? Nothing but by increasing the field number of tons, field number of tons, by increasing the field number of tons, we can improve the commutation. First remedy, by using laminating place and reducing the frequency. Second remedy, by using more number of field tons, by increasing field number of tons. And next one, how we can increase the power factor? By reducing the reactance, we can increase the power factor. Nothing but by reducing Armature number of tons, armature number of tons, by reducing armature number of tons, we can improve the power factor. By reducing armature number of tons, we can improve the power factor. 
By increasing field number of turns, we can improve the commutation. By reducing frequency and by laminating whole parts of the machine, we can improve the efficiency. These are the three remedies to avoid these three difficulties. Finally, this is single phase AC series motor. Right? What is single phase AC series motor? A single phase AC supply given to a DC series motor. It is called a single phase AC series motor. These are the three difficulties and these are the three remedies. Good sir. What are the applications of what are the applications of single phase AC series motor? Tell me what are the applications? Generally, these are used for high starting torque applications. High starting torque applications. What are the high starting torque applications? Example, single phase AC traction. Single phase AC traction motor. Single phase AC traction motor. And second one, refrigerators. 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 And third one, generally these are used in single phase AC traction and refrigerators. Especially these are the, the best applications of single phase AC series motor. Right? This is about single phase AC series motor, which we saw. Right? Next one. What is third one? Universal motor, right? Right? Third one, universal motor. Right? Next one. Universal motor. Universal motor. The name indicates universal. What is universal? The machine, the machine which works for both AC and DC supplies. The machine which works for both AC and DC supplies is called as universal machine. The motor which works for both AC supply, that is single phase AC supply especially. Single phase AC supply and DC supply, that motor is called as universal motor. Yeah, it's clear. What is universal motor? The motor which works for both AC and DC supplies. Now, they will ask you a question. For which supply the speed is greater? Tell me. The speed for DC supply is greater than speed of AC supply. The speed for DC supply is greater than AC supply. Because generally this is also a DC machine. This is also a DC machine. The DC series motor especially. The DC machine which works for both AC and DC supplies is called as universal machine. Universal motor. That's why this is already DC machine. That's why the speed for DC supply is greater than speed for AC supply. Next question they will ask you. The speed characteristics of universal motor are similar to. The speed characteristics of universal motor the speed characteristics of universal motor similar to the speed characteristics of universal motor similar to DC series motor. The speed characteristics of universal motor similar to DC series motor. This is for DC supply, this is for AC supply. I told you already the speed for DC supply is greater than AC supply. So, the speed characteristics of universal motor similar to DC series motor, speed characteristics, speed characteristics similar to, speed characteristics similar to DC series motor, DC series motor, speed characteristics similar to DC series motor. Right. Next, next question. How we can control the speed of the universal motor? The speed of the universal motor can be controlled by one voltage control method, one voltage control method, and second one, gearing system, and second one, gearing system. One voltage control method, and second one, gearing system. One voltage control, and second one, gearing system. These are the speed control methods 
these are the speed control methods we have two methods one is the gearing system other one is the voltage control method so the dc machine which works for both ac and dc supply the speed for dc supply is greater than ac supply speed characteristics are similar to dc series motor characteristics and next speed control methods are two voltage control method and gearing system right as completed now what are the applications of universal motor now tell me what are the applications of universal motor applications of universal motor applications applications of universal motor generally these are used for generally these are used for low power low power high speed applications low power high speed applications sir high speed means what is the range of speed high speed means the range is 10000 to 20000 rpm 10000 to 20000 rpm the speed range okay what are the example low power high speed can you tell me any examples yeah very good which are generally used in food mixers which are generally used in food mixers yeah very good which are generally used in generally used in washing machines washing machines and which are generally used in food mixers washing machines and next one portable drives portable drives portable drives these are the the best applications and also used in sewing machines and also used in sewing machines these are the applications of universal motor low power high speed applications simply called as domestic applications domestic applications food mixers sewing machines washing machines portable drives etc these are the applications of the universal motor this is simply about the universal motors universal motors right this is about the special machines of dc machine first one what is that first one permanent magnet dc motor second one single phase ac series motor and third one and third one universal motor right